All right, I'm going to call this meeting to order. This meeting of the Denville Township Board of Education is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Notice of this meeting was provided to the Daily Record and or the Star Ledger of Morris County, has been delivered to the Township Clerk, and has been posted on the bulletin board of the Board of Education Office and at each of the school buildings in the district. Roll call, please. Dr. Moore? Here. Mrs. Adelis? Here. Dr. Aruna Detassen? Here. Mr. Cass? Here. Mr. Anderson? Here. Mr. Capello? Here. Mr. Kim? Here. All right, uh, there is no need for an executive session, so if we can all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. Thank you very much for all that's here today. Uh, we do have a special special presentation. Uh, it looks like we are um, we have a bunch of energetic and eager students from the Riverview uh, School. So, with the presentation, I'd like to welcome up the uh, students from Riverview. I'd just like to say thank you for joining us today and for having us, and we're very excited to show who we are at Riverview. Not only is the ROCKET acronym used to teach the students about the character traits, but we also want to sh show that in our actions on a daily basis and how it improves our school, our community, and the world. So thank you for letting us show you what we are as Riverview Rockets. All right, well, when first thinking of what to share with the board presentation, we w really want to look at this with, you know, a very positive light, pun intended, um, about our students. They're our leaders of our school, and our ROCKET acronym is what every single day we talk about. So when thinking about what to present upon, we thought, let's look at what the students have been doing all year long, especially with service learning, through the lens of our ROCKET acronym. So with that, we have students representing kindergarten, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth graders, and they are here to share with you all the wonderful things they've been up to this year through the lens of the ROCKET acronym. Up first is Andy. Hi, my name is Andy, and I'm a part of the fifth grade K-Kids. The K-Kids are a group of students who think of ways to help others. Using the words of our ROCKET acronym as our guide, we worked on several projects along with ROCKETs in other grades to spread compassion and kindness in our school, community, and the world. The R in our acronym stands for RESPECT. In November, we helped organize a special program for veterans and collected candy for Treats for Troops. Hi, my name is Wiley. I'm also a fifth grade K kid. The O in our acronym stands for optimism. In December, we learned that children in our community might need some holiday cheer. We collected hundreds of new toys for Denville Social Services during our toy drive to spread hope and optimism to the less fortunate. We spoke in each of the homerooms about the importance of giving other gifts that we ourselves would want to receive. Generous families donated many wonderful gifts. We walked to the gifts to Denville Social Services and met the director. The toy drive was a huge success and we donated many toys. Hi, my name is McKenna. And my name is Emily and we are part of the fourth grade kids. The C in the Rocket Acronym stands for compassion. We read an article in Scholastic News about a little girl who collected supplies like shampoo, toothpaste, and made bags for the homeless. We wanted to do something like that, but also include a message of caring and compassion. We decided to call our bags heartwarming bags, and they had toys inside and hand warmers and foot warmers. We even designed a card that was placed in each bag. 
Mrs. Jamison and Mrs. Freeze found an organization called Project Kind that helps the homeless. The K-Kids visited all the classrooms during morning meetings to talk about the project and explain more about the items we were collecting. We spoke during peaceful dismissal and handed out flyers about the collection. Hi, my name is Colette. And my name is Aria, and we are in third grade. All the third grade classes came together to make heartwarming bags. We learned about more about Project Kind and how they helped the homeless. Then we took turns making the bags. In each bag, we put toothbrushes, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, chapstick, tissues, hand wipes, and hand warmers and foot warmers. We also put a note from us that says that we care. We put exactly 283 dental care kits. Amazing! The bags were brought to Project Kind Closet, which is in Montclair Community Church. The Heartwarming Bag Project is a project that demonstrates our compassion for those in need. Our rocket acronym is a reminder of how to demonstrate strong character and leadership. Every month we focus on a part of our rocket acronym to students from each grade level, teachers through assembly or activities in the of the letter and um in the rocket acronym. Since 2021, Mrs. Jameson has run a bookmark contest for each grade level to make a bookmark that illustrates the word we are focusing on. The winning bookmark is printed for the whole school. This month's winner of the bookmark contest was Amy Pecor. She was one of the many third grade students who created a compassion bookmark for um, for the contest. Amy's bookmark even included in a picture of the heartwarming bags. Hi, my name is Mimi. Hi, my name is Luca. And we're in kindergarten. K stands for kindness, and you can't spell the word or kindergarten without the word kind. And guys collected snacks for Denver Social Services. We collected 52 boxes, so that means 812 snacks. Hi, my name is Zager, and I am in third grade. E stands for empathy, and now as we move into the spring, our entire school is participating in a compassion campaign. We are learning about the world water crisis and showing empathy for those who do not have access to clean water. We read The Water Princess, which is based on the life of Super Mall, Georgie Batio, and her goal of helping her community get access to clean water. Each day, we're doing extra learning activities and asking for pledges. We're partnering up with Georgie Baudiel Foundation and team to raise money, and the money we raise through pledges will build wells in Burkina Faso, West Africa. Hi, my name is Molly. The T stands for team player. Over the next few months, students in grades Kindergarten through fifth grade will be learning lessons through team about the water crisis. We have already started by challenging ourselves to do one week of extra reading and math. Every time we reach our goals that we set for ourselves, we ask our friends or family to donate to the foundation. Our goal is to raise $5,000 by the end of April. Team will be matching all of our donations that we service so we can help even more people in Burkina Faso, Africa. 
by being team players. We are working together as a learning community to learn about people in need and then talk, taking actions to help. As you can see, Riverview Rockets are creating positive changes in their school, community, and the world. Thank you for listening. Um, we have some tree planting ceremonies coming up. The first one is at the Oaks on April 26th. Riverview will have one April 22nd. We're not sure. Um, that's, that's tentative. And Lakeview is also going to have one. And that's, that date has not been decided yet. Just wanted to give you guys the heads up. We're going to have these three different, um, tree planting ceremonies. And just to give you an idea, the Lakeview one is a special one for, uh, a deceased former um, staff member and the Oaks one is something to totally new and different. The Riverview one is our normal one that we've been doing over the years with the green committee. It's like rotates through the different ones. So I just want to let you know, that's, there's no reason why we're not doing one at Valley view. There's the three, the, the, the Oaks crew is the Valley view crew actually. <clears throat> The PTA tour was finalized last week. I went through and saw and met with each PTA, talked a little bit about the district, gave them a heads up on all different things that are going on in the district and where we've where we've been and where we're headed. And um, I think it's probably a good practice. I think we should probably do it every year. Um, typically, I do meet with the heads of the PTA, the, the presidents, co-presidents, twice per year. I have had some of the board members follow in on that. I uh, continue, plan to continue doing that. And I just want to let you know that that's been completed. Um, our persons of the year has been posted. We're getting nominations. Please think about a nomination. And um, it has been sent to the citizen, to the tap. It's been on social media. It's been a Friday folder. It's been sent out. So uh, we'll still continue to publicize that we do expect to announce the winners at the first meeting in may and um that's always been a pretty a pretty popular program we started and this is the sixth year i believe and that means we need a new plaque after this year so that's pretty cool um the community the community resource fair for cpac is coming up in may may 28th at riverview 6 30 to 8 p.m um, just to give you a heads up on attendance today that we did have a large group out Valley view had eight students out and 40 leaving early Lakeview had 29 out and 160 leaving early and Riverview had four out and 134 leaving early. And this is due to the, um, the eclipse and Dr. Collins is going to talk a little bit about the eclipse next. So I'm going to turn it over to her. That's it for my report. Uh, I think that uh, I want to thank the staff for really facilitating all of the students who had a chance to go outside, at least for a few moments, even if it, they were early buses. The middle school went out early. I have some pictures. They're all out on the grass sitting and watching with their friends. It was, it was great to see. Uh, we also have one of our Valley View science teachers who is in Vermont during the total eclipse and is filming for us. So she's going to be bringing that footage back uh, for our students to experience that. Uh, both the elementary schools participated. All of the students received their glasses and you know wore them correctly. I think they were uh, very well behaved and very interested in what was going on. Our teachers had really prepped them with videos of what and explaining what was happening. And uh, even our smallest students really enjoyed going outside. So I think it was a big success. Uh, as far as kindergarten registration, it is open. In fact, tomorrow starts our in-person evening, days and evenings where the parents come in and bring their packets in. Uh, so if you have not registered, you want to go ahead and do so. There's pre-registration as on our website at denville.org. Our total right now is 175. Uh, Lakeview has 81, Riverview 61, our flex zone 11, and our preschool who have not been placed uh, yet, 22. This concludes the Assistant Superintendent's report.
Thank you very much, Dr. Cullis. And business administrator comments? No comments. All right, thank you, Ms. Karowski. Okay, at 7.49, we are opening up a public discussion. Any uh, questions regarding the agenda could be directed to the board, uh, particularly to myself. Do we have any present online? Okay. There are no participants online and no one in the chamber, so I'm going to close public comments at 7.49, and we'll go straight into the agenda. Mrs. Adels, if you could take us through old business, no action to be taken. Surely. Uh, at the next meeting, myself or someone else will go through the following uh, Reports, reports for March 2024, Treasurer of School Monies and Board Secretary reports, as well as the education reports, as well as the minutes for March 11th and March 25th. Thank you. Questions or comments? All right, moving on to new business action to be taken. Dr. Arunja Tassin, if you could take us through personnel. Yep. If there's no objection, I'd like to move the following items uh, in uh, 4A, personal. Um, A1, uh, there are a couple of uh, hires. Uh, one is for a replacement teacher. The other is to also but to provide additional instructions. There is item two and three or for Family Leave Act. And uh, yeah, the, the fourth item is again reiterating the rates for uh, the substitute teachers. I'll second. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Roll call, please. Dr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Sedalis? Yes. Dr. Aruna Jatassan? Yes. Mr. Cass? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Capello? Yes. Mr. Kim? Yes. All right. Uh, instruction and program. I don't see anything that we need to vote on. Is that correct, Ms. Gorowski? Okay. So we'll move on to finance. Mr. Anderson, please. Sure. If there are no objections, I'd like to move under C finance uh, item number one only as uh, as a block i guess it's just item number one so it's the board to approve award to pg chamber school cedar knolls uh the highest responsible bidder in accordance with the district's bid documentation requirements and the public school purchasing laws for the sale of rifton mobile stand as follows uh for nine hundred dollars i'll second thank you very much questions or comments I'm a, we did vote on a mobile stander in the past, right? Uh, in the previous session, so this is something new? Or? No, we vote to advertise to bid on this uh, equipment. Thank you for the clarification. Sure. Roll call, please. Dr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Adelis? Yes. Dr. Aruna Detassen? Yes. Mr. Cass? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Capello? Yes. Mr. Kim? Yes. All right, under operations, I don't see anything for us to move tonight. So let's go into new business, no action to be taken. Dr. Orijatasen, can you get us, uh, get us through personnel, please? Of course. <clears throat> Uh, if there's no objection, I'd like to move the following items um, in A1. Uh, I'd move uh, for uh, the following blocks. Um, a block of teachers for uh, new hires and uh, retirements resignations. And uh, item number two for um, the uh, salary increments and uh, item number three for uh, three items there for family leave, leave acts and uh, item number four for hire of new substitutes. Yeah, just to be clear, we're not motioning that tonight, right? We're just uh, discussing that. So any questions or comments? All right, Dr. Moore, if you could take us through IMP, please. Uh, sure. So either uh, myself or, or someone else will uh, will move the following resolutions under instruction and program uh, workshops uh, under number one, A and B, um, 
teaching college reading and writing connections institute and an annual technology conference for uh, number two it's for dr forte to attend the spring leadership conference uh, item number three is the staff resilience coaching and keynote speech for the annual staff convocation and that's it there's nothing under item number four thank you very much Any questions or comments? Okay, Mr. Capello, can you take us through policy revisions for our next meeting? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I or someone else at the next meeting will be moving uh, policy revisions listed. Um, we have a total of 15 policies and seven uh, regulations uh, for first reading. These include abolishing an equity in education programs and services, sportsmanship, equitable education. We have a couple for bilingual education that are being revised, curriculum content, uh, equity in school classrooms uh, revised, uh, equity in school classrooms practices complaint procedures, uh, procedures for guidance counseling, uh, for re reporting of student progress, educational equity policies, uh, equal employment opportunities, code of ethics, um, one which I had never seen before, secret societies, uh, prevention and treatment of sports-related concussions, and finally, vandalism. Thank you. Is it safe to assume uh, that a lot of these are because of uh, updated regulations and statutes with the state? Yeah, most of them have to do with uh, some changes to the equity laws. So they're they, and they've changed the wording from equality to equity, and then also the the uh, the code, the code like the state code has been updated so that they removed some of the language that said per code. You'll see it in there. Thank you. The one policy to take a look at would be um, fifty four twenty. Uh, that is unique to our district. I mean. Everyone has a policy on this, but the change is just for Denville. And it specifically is the elementary report cards that we discussed um, in our committee of only issuing two formal report cards for elementary school, the end of first semester and at the end of the year, and then having a uh, progress report during the conferences for the first and the third quarters. So instead of two conferences and four report cards, they would get two formal report cards, and two progress reports. Thank you. OK, if there are no further questions or comments, Mr. Anderson, can you take us through finance, please? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, and just to get started, is it OK if I give a quick report? We had a, co a committee meeting. Please, prior. absolutely. I'll just hit a few of the highlights. The, the minutes are, are uh, already in the uh, folder. I can send them out also. Um, a few things we hit on, I think, that are that are pertinent. Number one was at the um, at our last uh, meeting, there was some discussion on some additional uh, health insurance premium costs for several employees. Um, the uh, Mrs. Gorowski, as well as uh, Dr. Forte, have kind of took a look at it. Um, we can add that into the budget. No additional tax levy increase. Um, that tax, the uh, budget has already been approved by the county, so it makes it much easier that we don't have the additional tax levy. Um, that will be paid through some uh, some additional savings. Uh, one in an unemployment account uh, uh, plan deposit, as well as a reduced amount in our uh, IDE our um, IDEA funding. So that's in the report. Uh, if any additional questions, you can certainly let me or uh, Mrs. Gorowski know. Um, we have been verbally notified of the approval of uh, the federal school lunch program. We have not received the official letter. Um, and there's a significant amount of work from the business administrator's office on uh, kind of how where we go from here. So um, hold off on any questions on, on how the execution is going to be done. But uh, please be notified that the application and we've uh, received verbal uh, notification that it was approved. Um, a few uh, upgrades on pro updates on projects. Uh, you may have seen, I've seen uh, Riverview Roof had some work done on it recently. That was something we've been talking about. Um, that, that you can see the, the detailed update here, but that is progressing uh, and moving along. Got a lot of progress done on it uh, over spring break. 
Um, and then the Lakeview HVAC project that we've been talking about for several years now. Um, the uh, units are lifted into place last week. Um, so they're just a matter of kind of decommissioning the old units, connecting up the new units. Um, uh, that'll be done in the near future here. Um, and we received NJDOE approval on the uh, new bathroom at Riverview uh, for kindergarten. Um, and we're expecting NJDOE approval on the new sidewalk that we've discussed a few times at Riverview. Uh, we should have that as early as potentially tomorrow. Um, the feasibility study for the Nicole Drive property that we've discussed, um, we discussed it as a committee and I think we're leaning towards supporting that study. Um, Dr. Forte was gonna ask them for some sample um, feasibility studies so we could take a look at them and see what they look like so we get an idea. Uh, appreciate Dr. Forte's work with our architect to add some additional detail into exactly what we're gonna be getting out of it. Um, so that is linked on the minutes so you can take a look at the uh, updated uh, EI uh, architect um, proposal, uh, but we're leaning towards that. And if we do, we'll, uh, we expect to put it on for next uh, month's meeting. Um, to be able to add that if uh, if the uh, committee continues to support it, so uh, that's the big highlights I would say as far as uh, as far as the uh, finance and and B and G committee. If there's any additional questions, you can take a look through the minutes. And then I'll move on to the agenda myself or uh, someone else at the next meeting. We'll move our uh, checks list as well as a donation of labor to install the donated maple tree that uh, Dr. Forte had mentioned at Lakeview by Cashman Landscaping. Um, the, uh, the budget you can read in detail. I will note one thing on the budget, just as we, uh, take a look through it. Um, you'll, you'll note, um, under the withdrawal from capital reserve, uh, cameras upgrade at $710,000. Um, the plan is to budget for that, but then have some more additional discussion on exactly what that would look like before we actually execute it. Uh, we had some additional discussion on it in our uh, committee meeting, but uh, the plan is to kind of dig a little bit deeper into that, but at least get the approval uh, for at least up to that amount if uh, if so needed and, and uh, directed by the board. And that is it. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. That was a great uh, update. So really appreciate that. Uh, any other questions or comments from the rest of the board? Okay, moving on then. Uh, Mr. Cass, can you take us through operations, please? Sure. The first item here is the resolution, which we have discussed a couple of times um, in transportation. And this is really just a great move by the uh, legislature and James for uh, fronting it up here on behalf of the school board and, and our town to uh, make it a little easier for people to get certified to drive a school bus, the small buses. And uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to mention a couple of key areas here is recognizing Bill 82180 to permit a school bus driver to operate a Type S school bus to transport children to and from school without obtaining a commercial driver license, passenger endorsement or school bus endorsement. And um, the Denmo School Board of Education hereby expresses full support for Bill 82180 and urges all relevant legislative bodies to promptly pass and enact this bill into law. And um, down at the end here, we have the NG, NJSBA believes that all districts should be permitted to hire school bus drivers that can operate Type S school buses without the need of a commercial driver's license, but still obtain a Type S school bus certificate. So uh, we're going to have this resolution placed on the agenda for consideration May 18th, 2024 at the Delegate Assembly. So that's really good news. And uh, it's great to see uh, everybody's kind of unanimous throughout the state on getting that piece of legislation passed. Item 1.2 is to utilize the district school buses to transport students from Learner Limited LLC at an hourly rate of $70 an hour on the following dates. They're all June 18th and buses going from uh, Denville, Morristown and Jefferson locations to the land of Maple Leaf in Hope, New Jersey. Under buildings and grounds, I'm going to ask the board to approve the attached memorandum of agreement with CCM, County College of Morris, for the reunification 2024-25. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years. Uh, hopefully we'll never need to do it other than the drills, but this is really important uh, to keep our kids safe. 
Thank you, Mr. Cass. I really appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to provide the board with an update with regards to the school board's resolution. Uh, I have talked to school boards to discuss the feasibility of this uh, resolution and whether or not they'll uh, present it to the delegate assembly. Uh, one of the arguments that they made, um, they were hoping to, uh, or they were wondering if I would be able to uh, withdraw this resolution because um, while they're in full support of it, um, they currently feel that if there's a small chance that the delegate assembly decides not to um, uh, support this uh, bill or this resolution, then all the work that they are doing behind the scenes as a lobby group to support and try to push this bill, uh, they would have to stop and it would put them in an awkward situation. Plus they're faced with uh, 14 other resolutions and if anyone's attended a delegate assembly, that would probably last a very long time uh, to uh, get through the day. So um, I have officially withdrawn this from school boards um, because I do feel that um, school boards will still um, lobby to support this with the um, legislative body. And um, I do still think that we as a board can still look to um, uh, vote on this and hopefully approve it as well. So uh, any thoughts or comments from the uh, other board members? I, I just mentioned our, uh, our representatives, our senator and two assemblymen are behind it. So they'll vote yes, which is a good thing. I don't know. Can't see why anybody would vote against it since this is a major problem for, throughout the country, the shortage of school bus drivers. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, I was only going to add that since there's already a bill in place, it sounded like it would be a little bit of, of, of kind of duplication of effort. And again, to Don's point, everybody thinks this is a great idea. So I think we should be fine. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dino. Excellent. Uh, if there's no other questions or comments, then it looks like we're going into the good of the cause. Committee, other committee reports, correspondence, discussion items, board meeting highlights. I uh, was able to attend the Blues and Beyond at Valley View on March 27th, uh, just quickly two weeks ago. They were wonderful, incredibly talented um, musicians that came to the school and performed the students' own work. Um, so I know, James, you had seen it last year, and it, you're right. It was amazing. <laughs> um, I want to thank um, the, the foundation who is uh, able to fund that program, and hopefully they keep coming back. So thank you to the foundation. Thank you to the teachers and the musicians and the eighth graders who thoroughly enjoyed the program. I, these are what I have for highlights. We review rocket presentation, the budget 2425 final presentation hearing for April 29th, and <clears throat> Lakeview and Valley View students will and staff will present on, at the May 13th meeting. Sounds good. I just had one quick thing to add. I uh, recently was invited by uh, Lakeview School to participate in a um, conference call with character.org. Um, to discuss uh, some of the things that they have instituted um, to build that school of character uh, nominate or nomination. Um, and I just have to say, it's amazing. We had a, a class three officer there. We had a bunch of parents there. We had actually a parent who's a uh, principal at another uh, school. Um, and, and it just reminded me and reinvigorated me on just the amount of work we've done with, uh, with the school of character and just the mental health of our students. Um, we're never done with it. Um, but the amount of work that's been put in, um, I think we, I almost forget about it sometimes because it's now just like second nature to what we do at the schools and, and all the schools, not just at Lakeview, but um, I appreciate the opportunity to, to be involved in that. And it certainly got me pretty excited and reminded me about a lot of the great things we do. Thank you, Mike. There was a birdie in my ear that told me that nine o'clock is when we want to uh, try to leave by. So we have about another 50 minutes. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, I'm kidding. Uh, I moved. OK. All right, at 8.08, let's open up uh, for public comments. Um, there's still no one in the chambers. and. No, it's okay. And um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Seeing there's no one online, let's close open public comments to uh, 808. And it looks like there is need for an executive session. Uh, Mr. Capello, can you uh, take us through executive, please? I would be happy to. Uh, if there are no objections, I move to convene an executive session in accordance with Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act. The purpose of this closed session will be to discuss negotiations, legal security, and personnel issues. Minutes of the session will be made available to the public when the need for confidentiality no longer exists. All in favor? Aye. Second. Aye. I'll second. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Abstentions? Okay, we are an executive at 8.09 p.m.